thank you for the greater him. And it is spoken to the glory of God. The garment that we've placed on the bishop is the Rasha. It is the first garment of the worship leader. The bishop, as is the pastor, is the chief worship leader in the assembly. Before he is a preacher, he is a worshiper. It is likened unto the linen ephod that David wore in the Old Testament. The apostle and the overseer are placing on him the cuffs. The cuffs are relative, related to him being part of him being a worship leader. These are the choir or the chorister's cuffs. He leads the assembly in worship. We removed his shamir. The purple shamir was indicative of his office as a bishop in the Lord's church. His shamir is now replaced with a scarlet or a red, what we call a cardinal red, shamir. Indicative of him being placed in the archbishopric, which is the apostolic office. The shamir is also a sleeveless garment that is indicative of him being a prophet, a proclaimer of the gospel and chief defender of the faith in the apostolic tradition. He is already wearing his black cassock, which denotes him as always being an elder. Regardless of whatever title we carry beyond apostle, prophet, he is always an elder. The cross is indicative of him being chained a prisoner of the gospel. The cross is symbolic of Jesus Christ's sacrifice. Bishop Spencer is removing his original bishop's ring from his hand of authority and placing on him a new bishop's ring with the amethyst. The amethyst is the stone that represents his office as a bishop in the Lord's church. The chief apostle, as the senior bishop in this assembly, is placing on his head the beretta. It is a symbol of the office of the bishop, as his office as an elder, and as a captain in the Lord's host. The plume, the red plume, is indicative of his office as an archbishop. Archbishop, Doctor, Jeremiah, C. Hackney, come on, give it all. You know what you say, you say, you say, come on.